President Joe Biden on Monday commended Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed for promising to release several high-profile political prisoners in his first call with the country's leader since the conflict in Tigray erupted in 2020. Mr. Abiy vowed on Friday to release several leaders from the Tigray People's Liberation Front (TPLF), in addition to Jaywar Muhammad, an Oromo activist, as Ethiopia's majority Christian populace celebrated Orthodox Christmas. The Prime Minister made the announcement in a statement calling for national reconciliation. The White House noted in a readout of the call that the two leaders also discussed ways to accelerate dialogue toward a negotiated ceasefire, the urgency of improving humanitarian access across Ethiopia and the need to address the human rights concerns of all affect Ethiopians, including concerns about detentions of Ethiopians under the state of emergency. Mr. Abiy, the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize winner, rounded up and detained several high profile of Ethiopia's Tigrayan community, including some U.S. Ethiopian dual nationals, during the TPLF's short lived advance on Addis Ababa last year. Mr. Biden's former envoy for the Horn of Africa, Jeffrey Feltman, met with Mr. Abiy last week shortly before stepping down. Veteran U.S. diplomat David Satterfield is set to replace him as the U.S. envoy for the region. For his part, Mr. Abiy said, that he held a candid conversation with Mr. Biden. We both agree there is great value in strengthening our cooperation through constructive engagement founded on mutual respect, Mr. Abiy wrote on Twitter. The U.S. has pushed for peace talks between Mr. Abiy's government and the TPLF, going so far as to expel Ethiopia from the African Growth and Opportunity Act, a key trade pact that provides certain countries in Africa with duty-free access to U.S. markets. However, the Biden administration has also halted a legal review into whether Ethiopian actions in Tigray constitute genocide as part of a bid to cajole Addis Ababa into peace negotiations. Nonetheless, the White House noted that Mr. Biden also expressed concern that the ongoing hostilities, including recent airstrikes, continue to cause civilian casualties and suffering, while reaffirming the U.S. commitment to work alongside the African Union and regional partners help Ethiopians peacefully resolve the conflict. The White House also touted the potential to strengthen cooperation on a range of issues and the need for concrete progress to resolve the conflict. Ethiopia has cut internet, phone and media access in Tigray since the conflict erupted in 2020, while reportedly complicating or halting the delivery of humanitarian aid to the war-torn region. Witnesses have described widespread human rights abuses in Tigray, including the displacement and murder of civilians, gang rapes, the destruction of civilian infrastructure and the burning of crops.